Uh, welcome to the second of my Christmas design videos. These are things I'm making as presents for people. Um, you might like to make them yourself and give them away to people who like electronics or flashing lights in your household. This is number two. This is a bit more pr pragmatic than the puzzle um, thing. This is basically designed for people who are into electronics or want to get into electronics. It's just a little tool that holds your electronics kit together. So for instance, here I've got my Raspberry Pi 4, Arduino Mega, and some components here for driving servo motors that I put together. I'll just do a quick squiz so you can see what it does. There you can go, see there's that turning when I turn the pot, and this one's connected to the one in the other leg. Um, You've got three fairly large components here. You don't really want to do this with them sitting on your desk. As you can see, mine's actually got little wire connectors, other metal objects just lying around waiting to get shorted out on the bottom of these boards here. Um, also, when you want to move it, it's a bit of a pain if they're all separate because you sort of have to lift them all up with the, the wires in, in situ because it's all kind of rigid. It's not a problem to pick this up. Um, with the power disconnected you can walk around with it. Also it will allow you to mount this onto a robot chassis very quickly and easily. What I've done is I've provided four, uh, sorry, three um, large countersunk holes around the perimeter here which you can either use to screw it down to a wooden, desk, uh, a wooden panel or something so it's like more secure or use them as mounting holes for putting it onto a robot chassis so it just plonks down on top. Um, what else about it? So this is this is where the Pi and the Arduino go. You can see there's some plastic standoffs here to keep them away from the bottom. I've designed it so that you can still remove the SD card. I've seen things like this on Amazon, which is kind of what inspired me. But they're a bit too small, so once you've got the SD card in and the uh, Pi screwed down, it's actually not possible to remove it again. Also, this section here in the models I've seen is not wide enough to support the Raspberry Pi 4 which has got more connectors along here that stick out through this hole. Um, these little standoffs at the moment they're not threaded. I'm not going to thread directly into them because that would damage the plastic and if you want to take them out again you're probably not going to get a very good bite on the screws later on. What I am going to use are these little brass inserts uh, as you can see I've got two of them there on a bolt and a bit of fluff as well. Right, so let's have a look. This one here is your sort of generic cheap Chinese one. You can get packs of a hundred for like two or three quid. They're quite handy and they do the job and I'll be using them on this because I've already designed them to mate up with the holes. So you can see I've got a little... you can actually... it sits in a little cup there just to keep it level and straight whilst you're trying to push it in. Uh, the way you use these is you heat up your soldering iron, stick them on the end of the soldering iron, give them 20 seconds and then push them in very carefully, very straightly into the holes. <clears throat> now these Chinese ones, they're okay, they do the job and I've got quite a few of them, I'm still going to use them up. But you'll notice that the knurling is parallel with the body of the sleeve. Uh, this means that when you've actually got it in place and a screw in it, it doesn't resist being pulled out very well because the knurls are running parallel to the body. Um, it certainly resists twisting forces which is great but if you want to stop stuff from being pulled off then maybe they're not so good. They're also big comparatively and on a lot of the ones I've got the holes aren't actually straight or the threads are a bit screwed up so they've got man quali their quality manufacturing issues. Later on I'm going to start using these ones here, this little one closer to the head um, it's got 45 degree um, twist on the knurling. These are made in Germany. As you can see it's much smaller, they're much more precise and because you've got this 45 degree knurling this actually gives you resistance to not only twisting forces from the screw but the pulling forces of the attachment. So these are going to probably last a bit longer and they're also going to be neater because they're so much smaller than the Chinese ones. But these are really useful generally, these little chaps. If you ever want to thread in, get yourself a bag of um, 3mm ones of these is probably the best size. I find 3mm suits most things, like the holes in the circuit boards, and it's strong enough for structurally building stuff. Um, so I would get into that. If you're soldering stuff up already, you've got all the tools that you need to insert these into a PLA print or even higher temperature. A typical soldering iron temperature is about mm, 300 
to like 350 degrees centigrade, more than enough to push stuff into some of this plastic. So anyway, I hope you like that, and I hope who's going to get this is going to like it too. Thanks very much for watching.